Step by step, all the SEO requirements in this video from Nitro SEO are explained in accordance with Google rules. To improve the ranking and position of your site on Google, you must have an SEO checklist, which in this video, we describe the most important things for you. By following the steps that will be mentioned, you can attract very high traffic of visitors and customers to your site. Also doing many of these steps will result in a short time and you can see the consequence of your work. Before going into details, I recommend that if you are new to the Nitro SEO YouTube channel, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications. What does SEO site do? SEO checklist in 2021. Tips before starting. SEO is generally divided into two parts, internal SEO or on-page SEO and external SEO or off-page SEO. In this video, very important points about internal SEO are explained. Try to do all or most of the points said about internal SEO because it will have a big impact on your site. But if you cannot do all of them, do not worry. Keep in mind that SEO operations are not all at once and you should constantly work on your SEO site and do the following points periodically. Requirements before starting to work. There are two essential tools for analyzing and tracking data that you must also use. Launch Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager are very professional and powerful tools for adding or managing and analyzing site statistics and traffic. And they are the best tools available on the web without the need to write additional code or make major changes to the site and also offer you many possibilities. Google Analytics is also the most essential tool that you must have for your SEO. You can use this tool to view and analyze the natural traffic of your site through search engines, as well as more details about user exit rate from your site. You can see the details of the campaigns made and the user's behavior with the site. Launch the Google Search Console or Google Webmaster in the SEO checklist. Search Console is a free tool provided by Google itself. By using the Google Search Console tool, or formerly called Google Webmaster, you can interact directly with Google and view the data on how your site works. Do you use WordPress? Install the Yoast plugin. This plugin is one of the most necessary and useful plugins to improve the SEO of the site. On-page SEO site internal checklist, conduct keyword research. Find the phrases that users search on Google and have a good SEO strategy for each of them. Choose a keyword for each page of your site. You do not need to start with the most competitive words. Start with the words that are less searched and less competitive. We will explain more about how to find keywords in SEO in another video in the future. Use keywords in the URL of the pages. Using keywords in the URL of pages is one of the Google's criteria for ranking sites. Excessive use of words in the URL that makes it longer should be avoided and your URL should be short. Note: To modify the URL of your pages, do not change the URL of that page after links have been made to it or if your page is ranked on Google. But from now on, follow this tip for new content that you publish on your site. Use your keyword in the title of the pages and have an attractive title. Using keywords in the title of the site is very important and influences your ranking and position. But more importantly, the click-through rate or CTR is based on your position. The more attractive your title is, the more clicks on your site and actually more users will be eager to see your site. Write keywords in the meta site description and write attractive text. 
In general, the text and content written in the meta description do not affect your rank and position, and Google has stated that the meta text is not one of the ranking criteria. But if you can choose an attractive phrase for your meta and use the keywords that users search for, you can have a very high impact on getting traffic and visitors for your site. Use the keyword only once in the site H1 tag. In general, the H1 tag should not be used more than once per page. This tag is usually generated by the template of your site and the title of your page is included in it. But if your template also does not have the capability, you can use this tag yourself while writing the descriptions in the editor. But note that you should not use this tag more than once. Use your keyword several times in the text and make sure you write at least 300 words per page, ideally 700 words and 300 is the least. Use your keywords several times and try to write at least 300 words of descriptive text because one of the main standards of Google is the content of the site, but you should try not to write irrelevant texts due to adding more words. Use synonyms. Search engines are advancing rapidly, but they are still not able to recognize all keywords. So sometimes it is better to choose synonyms as your keyword. Besides, users themselves often use synonyms and substitutes. Use the latent semantic indexing method. This method uses mathematical techniques to give Google the secret connections between words in order to understand the index information better. In short, this method helps Google to have a better comprehension of your text and content. Perhaps one of the best examples for explaining how latent semantic indexing works is that when you search for a phrase on Google, Google itself also suggests a number of other words. Google finds those words by using the latent semantic indexing method and uses this technique for understanding your text better and display it to users in a targeted and intelligent way. Use the alt tag on the site and name the files correctly. The alt tag or alternative text in WordPress is when you upload a new image or media to your site. Search engines are not able to understand the photos, but by using the alt tag and the text you have written, they can comprehend the photos and decide to display them based on your text and the user's search text. Also, if you use photos in the content of your site, the name of the photo or media must include your keyword and also describe the photo. Link to your other pages with SEO text and anchor text. One of the standards that Google has to display links is the text that you choose as the link or the text that you can click on, which is called anchor text. By using keywords as anchor text correctly, you can tell Google what keywords your page will display to visitors. Avoid unrelated words such as click because it can do a lot of damage to your site's SEO. Off-page SEO site external checklist. We will tell you all the actions and works needed to optimize the site that should be done outside your site. Requirements for the external SEO of the site is to do the work related to the internal SEO of the site. Use the Ahrefs tool to analyze your links. Ahrefs is the name of one of the sites active in the field of SEO services, which usually does the work of analysis and examination. After registering on the Ahrefs site and entering your domain address, you can see the power of your site and the number of sites that have given a direct link to you. Or are there any spam sites that link to you? Or how many competitors do you have in your field and some other information such as whether the anchor texts of your site are set properly or not? Check competitors' links. This is the easiest way to build a site. Follow competitors and find the text and anchor text of the links and the source address of the links that have high authority can help your SEO site a lot and based on the number of sites you have, choose the right strategy and start linking. 
As well, you do not have to link to sites that your competitors have linked to, but you can also do linking from other sources that are similar to your site with the same power and credibility. SEO Technical Checklist this method includes checking the Google Search Console for errors or duplicate content as well as untitled pages. This is Google's free tool for managing sites and to view and evaluate the performance of your site. You can also use this tool of Google Webmaster or Google Search Console to find the technical problems of the site. The most searched words in your site, the rate of your site, the CTR click rate, and the amount of Google inputs, and etc. Identify incorrect redirects or change 302 redirect to 301 redirect. You should not use the 301 redirect code for temporarily unavailable pages. The 301 code should only be used for pages that are no longer on your site or have been removed. Redirect 302 means temporary transfer and in this type of transfer, Google does not transfer the page rank to a new URL. 301 redirect means that you're telling Google that this page no longer exists on your site and from now on Google will display a new page for visitors instead of the previous page and completely transfer the validity of the previous page to the new page and after a while Google does not display the page that existed and instead displays the new address as the results. Fixing broken links, errors and crawl issues. The bigger your site is, the more important these items are and the more they will grow. Broken links or errors on the site cause search engines to not be able to properly understand and index your content and sometimes mislead search engines, so you will attract less traffic to your site. There are many tools to check for broken links on the site. Even if you use WordPress, some plugins are designed to do this. Important checking the site loading speed and making the site faster. Site loading speed is one of the most important subjects on Google. It also has a great impact on your site's relationship with visitors. There are plugins like WP Rocket in WordPress that can do the job of optimizing your site optimization for mobile devices. Many users today use mobile and if your site is not compatible and friendly with mobile devices, you cannot keep mobile users satisfied. Google's suggested techniques like AMP are designed to speed up sites as much as possible. Create a sitemap and register it on Google Console. By creating a sitemap and registering it in the Google Console, you can easily keep Google informed of the latest copy file and register it in the Google Console. You can use the robots.txt file to inform Google to find a sitemap. You can also specify in this file which pages Google is allowed to index and which pages of your site it cannot index. This can also work for different types of crawlers such as Bing, Yandex, and etc. And you allow each of the search engines to access and read the contents of a specific part of your site.